This picture is currently worth around $1 billion. What is the cause of this? What mysteries are within the Mona Lisa? Why is this the world's most well-known painting? Let's examine the mystery behind the Mona Lisa. Leonardo da Vinci Italian painter Leonardo da Vinci created the Mona Lisa in 1503. You won't believe how fantastic this man was either. Not only was he a painter, but also an engineer, scientist, sculptor, architect, and theorist. Painting, cartography, astronomy, anatomy, botany, hydrology, geology, optics, and even paleontology were just a few of the many subjects he was knowledgeable in. Lisa Gardini. So let's move on to Mona Lisa without spending too much time discussing him. The Mona Lisa was his most well-known artwork. However, who is this person in the painting? People have long wanted to know who the woman in the painting is. Giorgio Vasari, an Italian artist, made the initial discovery of this matter when he wrote Leonardo da Vinci's autobiography in 1550. According to Vasari, this woman was Lisa Gerardini. She was married to Francesco Giocondo, a silk trader who resided in Florence. He believed the reason for the painting was that Francesco had ordered a painting of his wife. The first name that we all know, Mon Lisa, derived from Madonna Lisa. Lisa Gerardini became Lisa Giocondo after she got married. Interestingly, in Italian, Giocondo means light-hearted or cheerful, meaning bright and joyful. And Mona Lisa's smile has made her incredibly famous today. More theories. Now, the interesting thing is that people were not ready to believe that Vasari's narrative was correct. There were a lot of ideas going around about this woman being someone else. She was claimed to be the mother of Leonardo da Vinci by some people. Some said that this was a painting of a queen from the Italian aristocracy. The most interesting theory was that in this painting, da Vinci painted himself. There isn't a woman in this painting. Actually, a self-portrait of Leonardo da Vinci, where he imagined himself to have appeared if he had been a female. Artist Lillian Schwartz supported this theory in 1987. She used digital tools to try to show similarities between Leonardo da Vinci's face and Mona Lisa's image. However, as of right now, we are very sure that Lisa Giocondo is the woman shown in this painting. Mona Lisa in France This raises the question of why the picture is still in France if both da Vinci and the Mona Lisa were Italian. The interesting thing about this is that Leonardo da Vinci was invited to recite in France in 1516 by King Francis I France. And so, Da Vinci moved from Italy to France. He carried the Mona Lisa with him. Although historical accounts are unclear on this, it is thought that Da Vinci had not finished a painting. Fifteen years after starting the painting, he was still working on this painting, trying to modify it and make it better. Meanwhile, while residing in the French palace in 1519, Leonardo Da Vinci passed away suddenly. This painting was kept by the king and added to his royal collection. When the French Revolution occurred in 1797, some 150 years later, this artwork was taken away from the palace and given to the Louvre Museum. Why was the Mona Lisa stolen? The mastermind of this theft was Vincenzo Paragia. He stole this painting together with his two friends. He was a nationalist from Italy. He believed that this painting belonged to Italy, not to France, so they took it to Italy after stealing it. It was a dangerous job to steal a picture of such renown, especially when the painting was worth millions of dollars. However, after being discovered, Vincenzo received a six-month prison sentence. On January 4, 1914, the artwork was returned to the Louvre Museum. Mona Lisa The size of this painting is just 77 by 53 centimeters. Nevertheless, the reason it is so unique is because, at the time, it was the first painting in Italy to have such a close focus on the person. This is a half-length portrait. These types of shots are very common in photography today, but no one used to make such paintings in those days. There are a number of colors of brown and yellow in this painting's overall color grade. It appears to be a really dull painting. Also, Da Vinci used a very special painting style in this painting, known as sfumato. Second Mona Lisa painting. Researchers believe that Raphael must have made this drawing based on the Mona Lisa painting. But in 1993, a German art historian rejected this theory. It was proven by Professor Polanyi, who had spent 25 years studying the identity of the Mona Lisa. He confirmed that Raphael actually lived right in front of the Giocondo family in Florence. So, does this mean that Raphael made an original painting on the same subject with the same woman in the same pose? This seems quite unbelievable. Another possibility for answering this question is that another Mona Lisa painting exists which inspired Raphael to make this drawing. However, this second Mona Lisa painting was revealed to the world in 1914. 
John R. Iyer, a novelist who lived close to London, had a new version of the Mona Lisa. This is the new Mona Lisa painting. Raphael drew his drawing based on the same painting. This second Mona Lisa is 3.5 inches longer and 5 inches wider than the one in the Louvre. Raphael's sketch and the painting, however, differ significantly. Due to these reasons, scientists came up with a new theory that Leonardo da Vinci was working on two Mona Lisas. These two Mona Lisas were painted by Leonardo da Vinci. However, the Isleworth Mona Lisa that was later discovered was the first version of da Vinci's painting. He was experimenting with his style then. And this is why the Mona Lisa in that painting looks younger than the other Mona Lisa. This theory remains a topic of debate to date. The Mona Lisa Foundation began examining the Isleworth Mona Lisa in 2010 in an effort to solve its mystery. They also developed a different theory. They claimed that Da Vinci had painted the new Mona Lisa's hands and face, but the background was painted by an inferior artist. It's believed that someone who worked in Leonardo's workshop completed this artwork. Since neither of these theories has produced any convincing proof, they remain just theories. Finally, it rose to become the most well-known artwork in the entire globe. That's right. Prior to being stolen, the Mona Lisa was not well known. So, if you go to the Louvre Museum and see the painting of the Mona Lisa and you see a crowd of people around it, then you can blame Vincenzo for this popularity. This painting is now in the Louvre Museum, protected by bulletproof glass and kept in a strictly controlled environment with a temperature range of 18 to 21 degrees Celsius and a humidity of 50% plus minus 10%. That brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for being to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell us what you think about this video below in the comment section. Let's meet again with another interesting video.